Here we go. My name is Mac and I'm a brewer by profession. Mac. There she blows! I like when people take a photo, but they're actually taking a video. Oh no, I was just doing smile after smile. I also like watching my son spin around on his hoverboard in the lotus position. <laughs> Lovely. This is Toby. Yeah, he's an accountant. He likes sheep. And motorbikes. This is Izzy. She's an enigma. All three of us are the Thursday Climbing Club. On climbing walls, it's usually frowned upon to rainbow climb. This is where you use any colour hold to climb up. No, no, no. You should be going up the route that has been set with all the same colour holds. Sometimes it's good just to get a win. So when I take anyone to the tower for the first time, I say use any hold you like. See if you can make it to the top. Look how happy Theo here is. It also helped that his mates were watching him. Oh, peer pressure. Here's Rose making it to the top. And the auto belay takes her safely to the ground. And look how happy she is when she gets to the bottom. You can't say fairer than that, eh? The great thing about Toby is he didn't have a clue what was hard and what was easy. I'd stagnated and perhaps looked at the grade markers on the route rather than looking at the route itself. Toby would just say, well, let's try this. Toby, that's a V2. I can't do V2s. Well, not with that attitude, you can't. But Toby would just get on it, do a couple of the moves. I'd see that it was possible. And perhaps a little pride and friendly competition entered the fray here. I'd give it a go. I'd even do a couple more moves. Sometimes, and I stress, sometimes, we would complete the boulder problem by the end of the night. I was teaching Toby some very rudimentary climbing fundamentals. Try and swap your left foot for your right foot. And then you can, yeah, that's it. And you can put your right, left foot on that blue one. Oh. But he was teaching me that perhaps Wait. my fixed mindset wasn't helping me progress at all. Here's the cave. I love it. It introduced me to a whole new plane of existence upside down. Often we'll make up our own routes. This one we called the sloth twist. Oh it felt so good going from one vertical plane to another. As you can see though our core strength was somewhat lacking so we looked like a couple of sloths moving slowly about the Costa Rican jungle canopy. I know sloths are way better climbers than we are, but I saw on a David Attenborough documentary that they can swim. I bet I'm a better swimmer though. Just saying. Right, so on land, sloths travel five feet a minute. They swim three times faster. 15 feet per minute. 15 feet per minute, that's laughable. I'm way quicker. <laughs> What's, so they can hold their breath for 40 minutes? Hmm. <gasps> yes! <laughs> nice! Oh, <laughs> <Nice. laughs> 
This is pretty good.